Hi friends, welcome to our lecture 3 of quality management system which is ISO 9001-2015. Let's recap what we discussed in lecture 2. We discussed about the clauses of ISO 9001-2015, the linkage of standards with PDCA cycle approach. Now, what topics are we going to cover in lecture 3? So we are going to cover clause number 1 which is scope, clause number 2 the normative reference, clause number 3 terms and definition, clause number 4 context of the organization and in this specifically we are going to talk about what is the meaning of context. Here comes the clause number 1 which is scope. All the requirements of this international standard are generic and are intended to be applicable to any organization regardless of its type or size or the products and services it provides. In this international standard, the term product or service only apply to a product and services intended for or required by a customer. Statutory and regulatory requirements can be expressed as a legal requirements. So, after going through this paragraph, it's clearly understood that this standard, which is ISO 9001-2015, can be applicable to any of the organization, whether it's an automobile, whether it's a medical device, whether it's a pharma, irrespective of type or size of the product and services which it provides. Clause number two, normative reference. The following document in whole or in part are normatively referenced in this document and are indispensable for its application. For dated reference only the addition cited applies. For undated reference the latest addition of the reference document including any of the amendment applies. <coughs> Sorry. Normative reference simply means any other document which are referenced within the management system standard. In the case of ISO 9001-2015, there are many references made to ISO 9001-2015 QMS, such as fundamental and vocabulary, ISO 9001-2015 implementation guide 113 as an example. Clause number 3 which is terms and definition. For the purpose of this document, the terms and definition given in ISO 9000 and 2015 applies. Now let's talk about the clause number 4, which is context of the organization. Please make a note of friends that from here onward, each and every clause, I mean from clause 4 till clause number 10, you need to be very careful since these are very most important. Now, Nowadays, the dynamic of the operating environment for organization has changed a lot over the year. With the new technological advances, the rise of social media, the environmental concerns and the influence of many such political, social, economic, legal, financial, regulatory and cultural factors. Similarly, the internal factor such as our own skill and competency International organizational structure changes and culture may require us to plan or change our internal processes to suit the needs of the customer and to ensure a high quality product or services are made to the customers. This internal and external factors are called as context in ISO 9001. So guys, you can see, I mean, nowadays looking to a competitive environment in the market, each of the organizations are struggling to beat the competition. So, the organization where it has been set up, it is completely getting influenced by various factors such as it could be the political, it could be a social, economic, legal, financial, regulatory and various aspects. When it comes to about the internal factor, which is there within the organization. So, for example, the skill and competency of employee 
needs to be updated as per the current situation which is going in the market. Why? Because if they are not updated, so definitely they are not going to cope up all this kind of the factors which is getting prevailed in the market around the organization. So this internal and external factors are called as a context in ISO 9001. ISO 9001 requires that company should consider all these factors while creating their strategic plans and address all kind of risk and opportunities arising out of these factors to determine the scope of quality management system and its processes. Apart from context, the requirement of interested parties and the product or the services offered by an organization shall also be considered while determining the scope of the QMS. When it comes up to about the small organization, the interest party may include but are not limited to a customer, the regulatory or government body, management, employer, supplier, etc. The requirement of a customer, for example, can be a high quality product or the services or an on-time delivery. Hence, the scope and process of the QMS shall be defined such that the context requirement of interested parties and types of the product or the services that you offer are addressed through your QMS. So guys, we are since last two slides we are talking about the context, context. So the question comes, why is this context important? So company in today's work are very high volatile and very competitive environment. For any company, whether a big or a small, it is essential to identify that the contextual issues and this may lead to a potential risk of an opportunity. For example, the cultural and the religious aspect of a region may impact how much a product or services is successful in that region. Without understanding this cultural aspect, if a product is launched in a new area, it runs the risk of low sales. So, identifying context and addressing the risk or opportunity arising out of this context through change, enhanced process of planning adequate and timely response to the risk is important for a company to survive. This contextual issue may also present an opportunity such as opening of new markets, the availability of new technology leading to a reduced cost. Context also ensure that the QMS works in a conjunction with the business strategic directions. The contextual changes over the time shall also be tracked so that the QMS is always in synchronized with the changes in the internal and external context. So now it's clear as we all know that nowadays in the today global scenario all of the companies are competing with each other whether it's a automobile, whether it's a pharma, whether it's a medical device. So definitely we need to understand what is do we exactly mean by the context. So before applying the QMS into any organization, we should think all of these factors in designing the QMS process so that we can meet the demands of the customer in a better way. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, comment and share my channel. IVD Manufacturing.